I first am using some Jenga blocks that I got from Dollar Tree. I am using a total of 20 Jenga blocks. So first you wanna just hot glue four of them side by side. And once you finish the first set of the four of them going side by side, just hot glue another one going upward on both sides. And this is where that second set comes into place. You then just wanna hot glue it to create a box. And then I just hot glued some more Jenga blocks on top to create a second level. Once that is complete, I wanted to make sure that this had a bottom to it so i'm just grabbing some of these jumbo craft sticks that i got from dollar tree as well cutting those in half and then they fit perfectly on the bottom of these jenga blocks so i just began hot gluing those right down and just continue doing that until the bottom is covered and now you have this cute rectangular box to work with I then am going to be using some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and I'm just painting the entirety of this box. Made sure I got the inside, outside, even the bottom and especially the inside. I did end up doing two coats. You want to just dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and then allow everything to completely dry. Put that aside, and then I grabbed these salt and pepper shakers from Dollar Tree. I grabbed two packages, so now I have four of them using Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. I just began painting all of those shakers. This did end up requiring two coats, and as always, dry the first coat before going on to the second coat, and then allow everything to completely dry. I then got these wooden numbers, also from Dollar Tree, and then I got this glitter, also from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using this beautiful gold one. So I just took out the numbers 2022. First, I wanted a base coat, so I painted them in the Waverly chalk paint in the color ink, allowed that to completely dry, then using a nice layer of Mod Podge, just begin painting that over the numbers. And before that Mod Podge dries, go ahead and just pour some of that glitter right on top. Make sure that the numbers are completely saturated. I like to use my finger to dab on that glitter to make sure it is soaking into that Mod Podge. Dump any of that excess off. And then I just began hot gluing those numbers right onto the salt and pepper shakers. And I think these are starting to come out super adorable. And go ahead and place the salt and pepper shakers inside of that wooden box that we created. I then got these gold florals from Joanne Fabric. I just began cutting up the stems, putting those right inside of those salt and pepper shakers. And there you go, guys. So I specifically made this for New Year's, but I thought this would be so cute for a centerpiece for a graduation party as well. But mostly, I think it's super cute for New Year's since that is coming up. But there you go. And I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.